Now, Barbara, we have a chance to chat. Great. I, I thought... I thought of a story I wanted you to tell that we haven't discussed in a long time. I, I know that when I first met you, we talked about the years that you entertained in Vietnam. I think it was just you and your mother and father and perhaps one other person. Uh, two other young men. It, my, it was my father's band. All during my high school, I worked in my father's band. It was called the Mandrell Family Band, and we entertained um, just for all the branches of the military. That's all. We didn't do any other shows, and that was enough. There's no better audiences, as you can see. So, and it was just, it was a great experience because, you know, in the late 60s like that, uh, Vietnam was happening. And, um, and so at any rate, I happened to have had uh, quite an education doing that. And I, I care so very much for those that served in Vietnam. It used to, uh, we were speaking, and my Marine friends and I were joking earlier. <laughs> But I do remember that when we would go out to Camp Pendleton, um, um, we would see all of them in there, uh, uh, all suited up, ready to ship out. And my heart would break, you know, to see so many go. And this time when Saudi Arabia, uh, with the Gulf situation, um, I've been to Saudi Arabia. I was there, uh, my band and I were there in 1977. And uh, it is not... Um, it's real sandy. It is not, um, it's not Tennessee, you understand. And uh, at any rate, it was also being a woman, it was quite an education for me because I found out I'm really nothing, you know. When you were performing there, were you performing for uh, American nationals? Uh, actually, one evening, it was almost like performing for the UN, I sort of remember it, because there were 23 nationalities there that evening. They worked for like Aramco and companies like that. Did you that. have to observe the Arabian customs yes, in your uh, dress? Before we went, um, you know, we are very privileged to be the capital of Tennessee here. And so I asked them uh, for all the information, and they told, uh, they told us, and my girlfriend Patsy Sled made my costumes then. And so my costumes were up to here mm -hmm. and down to here and down to here. Everything I mean, I was covered. You, you, didn't, you didn't wear that little gownless evening strap number that you had on one no. ago. <laughs> no, I didn't. That'd go over big in Riyadh, uh, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I, I, I wanted you to tell a particular story. Uh -huh. The story about your mother and the two of you getting dressed. You love that I story. I love that story. You always make me tell that story. But I think it's okay. a cute story and certainly appropriate. In, in Vietnam, um, you know, there were, I hate to admit this, but there was, sometimes we'd go for a week without being able to bathe. And... Um, <laughs> At any rate, we were so fortunate because at this one particular place that we were, there was a Quonset hut that had showers in it. And the, um, the barracks, if you will, uh, were attached to this one Quonset that was the showers. And there were barracks from this side. And then there was a wall down the middle, but it didn't go all the way to the high ceiling. And so the men from this barrack would come in on this side and shower, and the ones from here would come in and shower over here. So we were allowed to go in there. And, um, and I noticed, by the way, the the Navy is represented here tonight, but not as big as some of the other branches that are out there. But um, I say this with all due respect because I was a dependent. Um, when I married at age 18, my husband was a Navy pilot, and um, he could no longer fit into his flight suit, but he still, he's still looking good, okay, just in a bigger way. Yes. And uh, at any rate... <laughs> This was at a Navy installation there in Vietnam, and so this chief told us that we could go in there and shower, and that and he would guard the door for us. And so he did, and there was no one, of course, on our side. And my mom and I were so thrilled; we were able to shower, and and we were just so happy. And all of a sudden, I heard this snickering giggle, and she looked at me, and and I looked at her. I said, "You do that?" She said, "No." I said, "She said, you do it?" I said, "No." And all of a sudden, we screamed, "Chief, there's..." And we grabbed our towels, and the chief came running in <laughs> and found out that there were some um, men on the other side that were peeking over. And my mother is quite um, a fine lady that um, she's a very young mother and a good-looking mother. At any rate, she has a good sense of humor, and she said, Well, Barbara, we came over here to entertain the men. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cute. You like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's cute. Okay, we're going to move on to our next guest. We're going, to, we're going to spend a moment or two out here in the audience. And I 
I want uh, I want Donnie Freeman to come down here. Where are you, Donnie? I'm right here, Ralph. See that patch, 101st Airborne. Oh! Now, Donnie, I have I have your card. Uh, you wrote on it, uh, proud to be an American, and that you have a Saudi hug for Barbara Mandrell. Is that true? Yes, it sure is. All right, Miss Barbara Mandrell, could you come out here, please? When did you get home? Last night. Well, you, Barbara, he just got home last night. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Donnie, I am so proud of you, and I'm so grateful to you and, and, and those like you, the other, the other men and women. I, uh, did you say, which, which is it, what airborne? He's a, with 101st. <gasps> Airborne the Screaming Eagles patch on one of my jackets. I love, I love the 101st, and I, uh, my brother-in-law was 101st Airborne, and I just think you're so great, and it's real hard. Are you married or engaged? I'm married. Are you? Where is she? She's in Alaska. What's her name? Leanna. Hello, Leanna. And, um, is she, is she in service? No, sir. She, are you, why is she in Alaska? Uh, her parents are there, sir. I see. Well, Donnie, I know it's so hard, and, and, and certainly she knows. It's so very hard to be apart, and, uh, I know when my husband deployed, uh, the nine months apart is, it's horrible. It's really, but isn't it wonderful to be back together? You'll be there seeing her soon? Sure will. Great. And thank you for that hug. Thank you. Oh, he wants another. <laughs> Donnie, thank you very much. Thank Welcome you. home. You. you got a little lipstick on you. That's okay. Thank you, Barbara. You can walk in front of me if you like. Several years ago, at the Roy Acuff Theater in this complex, I was privileged to introduce Barbara Mandrell in a performance uh, for a live recording, uh, which was concluded with the Battle Hymn of the Republic. It was a stirring rendition that day, and I'm sure it will be tonight. Here again is Barbara Mandrell.
Thank you, Barbara. Miss Barbara Mandrell.